Well, hi everybody, and welcome to this two-minute tying video. I'm going to be tying a caddis larva today. This is going to be tied on a size 14 scud hook. I already have the tungsten bead on it, and I'm just tying in a marabou tail. I'm not going to worry about cutting all this stuff at the front in terms of cutting it perfectly. I'm just going to get it, kind of get it out of there, but I will be dubbing over that, and that's not a big deal at all. After you have that uh, marabou tail tied on, you can leave it long. I'm going to actually be trimming it later in this fly. I'm going to tie some brass wire on, just wrap that up about halfway. And then finally I'm, I have about five or six pieces of some turkey tail feather. I'm going to tie this in with the tips facing the front. And then I'm actually going to wrap back. Okay, now once I have all this stuff locked in place, then the easy part really happens. I'm just going to grab a little bit of uh, some hair, hairline. Um, hair's ear uh, plus, which is just a, a blend of hair's ear and antron. Give it a little bit of color. I'm using number seven, which is a color of tan. And I'm just going to dub this on. I'm going to go relatively uh, thicker than normal because I am going to be picking this out at the very end. So I'm just dubbing a little bit on here and there. Again, don't be afraid to get a little thick. Just try to dub it tighter. Because I'm tying a bead head right now, I won't really need a lot of dubbing. I'm only going to get a few wraps on. I am going to ensure that I'm making relatively a uniform body the entire way up. That's all I'm going to need right there so I can finish this. Next, I'm going to take this turkey hair and hold it down. This is a really critical piece. I want to make sure whenever I hold it, it's centered across the top. So you may have to play around with your fingers for a little bit. and I'll show you what that looks like. So I want it perfectly centered. I'm going to place two wraps, and then I'm going to grab the wire, and I'm going to rib this caddis. If at any point while you're ribbing it, that, that top turkey feather starts to turn, just bend, take your fingers, turn it back, because you just want to make sure, again, that that is straight down that back, just like an actual caddis. i got a couple wraps to tie those off. Just build up the head a little bit. Okay, let me get a half hitch in there and finish that with a whip finish. And that is nearly finishing up this caddis larva for this two minute fly. I'm going to trim the tail. I want to keep this kind of short. And that is nearly the finished fly. The only thing left is to add the gills and the leg. I'm simply going to take a piece of Velcro and just, just go down about five, six seconds on each side. You can get aggressive with you if you'd like with that and continue doing it for a few more seconds. But for the most part, that is all you're going to need. I could probably pick out the, the back of this flight just a little bit more. And there is the finished caddis larva. Uh, tungsten bead on a curved, nick, curved nymph hook, the scud hook. Um, the only piece I would like to show you, which will kind of extend this two minute video probably into four minutes, I apologize, uh, is that this is a, a really great fly, however, I'm a, I'm a really big advocate for bead heads. I know a lot of tires out there are not. So if you're a tire and you really don't like fishing or tying bead heads, you want to just stick with the traditional, I am absolutely saying go for it. However, if you notice that this is the traditional fly, every other component of it is the same, the marabou tail, turkey feather, the brass wire, and the dubbing that's picked out. However, if you notice that the head is very dark, the way that I darkened it was simply by taking a dark gray, a gray or a black sharpie, and just touching it around the head and going back a couple segments the whole way around. I do that right before I pick it out with the Velcro and then I pick it out and this is the finished fly. Well, thanks for viewing this two minute video. Uh, these, this fly that I'm showing you now and the, the tungsten bead head are both examples of caddis larva. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave a comment or question on this website or you can email me at tkamisa at gmail.com. Thanks, everybody.